I was born in Hayward, California, and at three months, my parents figured out that I had what's called optic nerve hypoplasia. It's a visual impairment of the optic nerve where it's not quite developed all the way. And from age one, I was able to see about five, 10 feet ahead of me where I could pick things up off the floor. And that vision has stayed the same throughout my entire life. I had connections with the Oregon School for the Blind because I had attended there for a few years. That's how I got my independent skills. I realized where my passion really was, teaching people's living skills. All over Salem, I have these things that I'm committed to doing, and it would be virtually impossible to make those commitments effective for me time-wise if, if I couldn't do charities. It's very vital to the life that I currently live. I call chariots for the nearest bus that goes to that particular place. And when I get off the bus, I ask the driver if he has any idea where that place is. And I just go towards the direction that I think it is, taking notes all the while. Each bus announces what bus number it is when they're in the bus mall or even when they open the door so that people that are visually impaired or people that can't see the numbers can identify it immediately. One, South Commercial, continuing as route number when they're at the bus mall, the buses are constantly talking, telling you what number they're at and which bay they're in. I think their mission is to help as many as people as they can. They do have something called a travel assistance program where somebody can go out with you. I didn't know about this service until maybe a little over a year ago. Somebody can go out with you and help you learn a route. If chariots were not operating, I wouldn't be able to stay in this town because of so many things that I'm involved in. Whatever the cost, whether it's an hour of transportation per day to get from south to north and back again, I think it's important to really get there by myself. It's very important to me to be independent. Saturday service is very important to me. There's times when I have activities and I even work. I have to inconvenience people to pick me up or I have to take a cab, which can be expensive. We need to advocate with as many people as we can to increase these hours and these days. And the only way to do that is just to continually show them that the ridership is increasing and that there's more of a need for it. Without a bus system like that, it's difficult to really have the commitments in the life that I do. So chariots to me means ultimate independence, and it can mean that for other people if they, if they give it a try.